Welcome back everybody, it's the Creative Fro. I hope you are doing well. Today, I have something I'm very excited to share with you. I want to thank the sponsor of the video, Phantasma, for creating the Cine Punch Bundle. For only $50, you're going to get the largest Final Cut Pro bundle available on the market to date. If you're a filmmaker, video editor, YouTube creator, this is going to be a great pack because it's a bunch of different tools for Final Cut Pro X that include generators, LUTs, titles, transitions, effects, and so much more. So today I just wanted to demonstrate some of the few things that excite me about this pack. So taking a look at the transitions pack here, we have the Transition Punch 5.0. And as you can see, as I scroll, you can see a ton of different transitions that are included in this pack. And all you have to do to add them on to your project is simply drag and drop. So let's drag on a transition so you can see how they look. Wow, that is super cool. I love that transition. And here you can change the duration of the transition. So if you want it to happen shorter, you can just drag the bars inwards and now it looks like this. And if you want it the opposite and to be longer, you can drag it out. Super easy to change. And I myself personally love transitions, so this is awesome to have so much variety in a pack. Wow, that's super sweet. All these transitions are very unique. And what I like about this is how they're organized in the transitions folder. So as you can see, for example, we have leak transitions. So if you're going to use transitions in your video edits, it's nice to use the same transition, but in a different way. So rather than having a cross dissolve, a blur, maybe a zoom in, and then going to a luma transition, that can be a little too much. So it's awesome that the transitions inside this bundle categorize it all in these different areas here. So you can just focus on choosing leak transitions. So for example, you can use leak transition one here. You could choose number five there, maybe number four. You can go in any certain order that you want, but that way you don't get a hodgepodge of transitions which can really kind of take away from your video edit so it keeps it more streamlined and it really enhances the video because it's all the same look but it's more unique because there's a slight change in between each transition so I'll play it back so you can see there's that light leak we'll go to this one that one had a little bit more of a glitch in it that one had more of a little uh, burn effect to it. So as you can see, we use three light transitions, but they all had a unique different style to them. So now I wanna show you some of the effects that are included in this bundle. And right here, I'm on the disruption visual effects panel and effects. So as you can see here, there's a bunch of different ones to choose from as I scroll down. And let's just put one on here, for example. So it added some scratches and if you look over here in the tools panel you're able to change and really dial in how you want the effect to look so with this pack you're going to be able to really customize your effects to how you want it to be and dial it into your unique look so i'll just play that here and i like that effect a lot because it adds a handheld feel to it the scratchiness to it i think it looks awesome and if you want to you know change it up a little bit you can play around with the opacity and all these other tools here too as well there's before and then after so you wanted to go with the old school VHS effect as I scroll over so it's easy you can preview these effects by just mousing from mousing over from left to right and watching it play through and this is a really cool effect if you want to go for that VHS old school kind of nostalgic feel in your video edit now, if you're a filmmaker, aspiring filmmaker or video editor, this is going to be a great pack for you because you get all these different grain effects. So let's just say we want to add a grain effect to this clip here. I'm just going to drag one of them here. And now you can see that it has added grain to this clip. So that is really going to help get you that cinematic look, especially if you change the aspect ratio of this video to be wider and add the letterbox effect, that's really gonna help enhance and bring that cinematic sequence to life. And again, on the right hand side, you can see in the tools panel, you can really dial it in to how you want the effect to look. So if you need to change anything, you have all these different tools to help you get that look. Yeah, and that looks super cool. This looks like it was shot on a film camera. I love it. And also you have these cool film burns too as well. So all you have to do is just simply drag and drop them onto here. 
And there you have it. That looks super cool. I love that. And I can even see that being used in a music video edit too as well. These are super cool. And you can also change the scale of it too as well and the blend mode if you want to dial that in yourself. So as I was saying before, this is great for the filmmaker in mind. If you want to add a cinematic design and look to your work, this pack is for you. Another thing that's included that I have downloaded here is a whole bunch of different LUTs. As I scroll by, you can see all the different looks that you can get in this pack. So if you wanted to add one of these to your clips, you can just drag it and drop it and then just dial in the changes from there. But there's a ton of different selections if you're looking for a certain look for your video edit. I can keep scrolling for days basically on this thing here. So that's super awesome that they include that in the bundle too as well. We also have some generators up here. So if you're looking to add a generator overlay to your video too as well, you can use some of these leaks, the film grain, film damage, and there's a bunch of different variety to choose from in here. But this pack doesn't stop here. There's still so much more included. Let me take you to the big packs folder. So now when you purchase the Cinepunch bundle, the big packs is included. And now this is where there's a ton of more tools for Final Cut Pro X. All you have to do is click on what you're looking for and it brings you right to a download link. So for example, let's say you want some sound design, we can hit the sound punch here. And now you're prompted with a screen here where you can go to the server and all you have to do is click download here. And then from here, it's gonna take you to a download screen where you can choose the sounds you want and be able to use them in Final Cut Pro from there. So if you're looking for even horror elements, you can click here, open up that PDF, and it takes you to all these different servers. So you can browse through and select what looks you want. And it's awesome because it comes at a nice 4K quality. So if that's what you shoot in, that's available there for you. We have dust overlays, a whole bunch of different kind of things here. So you want the haze pack, you just double click it. The same thing goes, you can go to the download servers and open it from there. So it's awesome that this bundle doesn't import everything into Final Cut Pro, so it doesn't take up a bunch of hard drive space, but it's housed in these folders here where you can just open them up and go to the download server and be able to download from what you need and that way you don't have everything inside Final Cut Pro. So if this is something that you are personally interested in, please feel free to check out my download link in the description below. I think this is a great investment for only $50 you get all of these different effects. I haven't seen anybody else provide something like this for Final Cut Pro. So thank you again to the sponsor of today's video, Phantasma. And I really personally look forward to using more of these effects on upcoming video edits myself. And one more thing I wanna mention quickly is once you do download this pack, you are provided with a bunch of different tutorials on how to download and install these plugins and even specific tutorials on how to use plugins if you're looking at how to apply them yourself and maybe go through some of the changes. So thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. It's the Creative Fro and I'm out.